Evening thunderstorms kept the beaches mostly free of people enjoying the sand and surf. But if red tide rolls in, scenes of dead fish rotting in the hot sun with its stench could chase tourists away. Keep it away. I'm worried about it, yeah. Jennifer McManus owns this small cigar and smoke shop in Madeira Beach. She remembers the BP oil spill and how it made profits go up in smoke. This hit in social media, yes, it worries me a little bit. Uh, business has been good so far this year. Let's hope it keeps up. August is usually a slow time of year with snowbirds still up north and students beginning their school year. Red tide could mean red ink. I'm worried that, uh, that it will affect business, but more so I'm concerned with the environment. Andrew Dixon, a server at Mario's Italian, enjoys scuba diving off the coast. He recalls a recent dive. On the surface, it looks fine out there. You don't see any dead fish, and we went down on St. Petersburg Reef, nine miles offshore. But as he and a dive buddy submerge, he tells me it looks similar to this video, shot south of the Bay Area. We got down 15 feet, and it was like kind of sinking into a reddish, brownish cloud, and our visibility dropped to almost zero. You couldn't see the hand in front of your face.